hi guys tech guru and uh, welcome back to my another tutorial okay today's tutorial will be on how to animate a v6 engine okay uh, in by using servo motor okay so i've already created a v6 engine and i will show you by going to mechanism and i have already provided all the required um, mechanism constraints for camshaft and valve i have provided cam as the mechanism constraint okay and for this crankshaft for this crankshaft inside for this crankshaft and this uh, cylinder for this engine box okay i have provided as the pin as a constraint everything is ready and here also i have provided between this uh, cram crank and this crankshaft i have provided pin cylinder pin as the constraints everything is ready over here okay so we will what we'll do is we'll see how to pro apply servo motor to this with constant speed okay one thing you need to understand is when you go for constant speed in case of creo it will be in degrees per second if you go to any other uh, animation software cad software like solidworks it will be in rpm they will give you multiple options but here we have only one option that is uh, degrees per second okay so we will see how it how to use this servo motors okay first we will connect the crank shaft with cam shaft using belt pick this and this so our one belt is ready this is actually how it will be available even in the engines okay even in the engines actual engines they will connect it with the help of a chain belt or a normal v belt okay between this crankshaft and camshaft okay so it's wrapped we'll delete it and we'll recreate it i picked up the other side we will use this here is this it's done okay so our belt is ready we are not going to create a part out of this belt as of now now comes the actual problem see when you whenever we go for any mechanism there will be a lot of mechanism constraints and it becomes very difficult for us to pick the right mechanism constraint for us to apply servo motors in that case we will have to go here and check which is the part for which we are going to apply which is crankshaft is the part so in this we will go and check its connection connection 5 is the mechanism constraint for which we are going to apply servo controls so what we will do is we will click on servo controls ok we will click on its already picked up here then we go to connections joints connection 5 and then pick this rotation axis okay then go here and pick velocity velocity is what we are going to pick over here and then degrees of degrees per second is the uh, unit here so we'll have to appropriate I'm gonna use 300 degrees per second as the speed okay then I will apply I'll say apply and then I'll say okay okay servo motor is now applied okay and you can clearly see that there is a swirling green stuff uh, image over here this is the indication that the servo servo motor has been applied to this okay then once it is applied then you go for mechanism analysis pick the interval i will say uh, for me it's as of now i'm happy with 10 but i'll increase it to 20 frames per second i will increase it to 20 only okay that's done for this we will run the analysis okay so you can see the analysis is now running the analysis has to complete he come it has to complete the analysis to complete so we'll have to wait for it this is a 20 percent 22 percent you can clearly see it this is a creo 3 guys not creo uh, 4 in creo 4 the indication of analysis progress is shown in a different way okay so that we will have to wait for creo 4 we have not yet upgraded to creo 4 so it will take time so we will have to wait and you can clearly see everything is working the camps are moving up and down and then 
the crankshaft is moving the flywheel is moving the pistons are moving inside properly we can recheck it in the replay option I will show you where the replay, replay option is also available okay now it is done now say okay once you say okay come down here click on playback and say play okay and then here you click on this speed control how fast you want the animation to run and then say this okay now you can see that animation is running you can see how the camps uh, pistons are moving inside and out okay and even you can see the camps moving in and out it's perfect it looks very nice only thing is the belt is not visible the belt can be made visible the belt which the belt option which are provided it also has an option where you can convert that option into part but here I have not provided that so necessary time consumed so I did not do it okay now we will stop it one more option in this guys that is if I want to capture my animation in the form of a video file so for that we have to do go here capture and then pick the type of file we want dot avi where you want to save it I want to save it here outside okay I will say record I'll say okay whatever it is okay now my dot avi file is being generated you can clearly see here it will take some time for this also it will take some time and uh, till it's going on I cannot do anything I'll have to just watch quietly the progress and uh, we, you people do need to have patience okay it's done okay now let's check it out where it got saved in D drive okay so this is the recording I'll play it now oh, there it is very beautiful isn't it you can uh, show it that you have created a animation file here animation has been captured in the form of a video file okay so that is how a servo motor is applied servo motor with constant speed that's very important okay because in servo motor we have multiple options okay we have position we have velocity we have acceleration but normally the most used one is velocity because velocity represents the rpm whenever it comes to uh, circular motion okay if you want a linear motion it can be position velocity or acceleration but here in our case in circular motion in case of v6 engine it will always be velocity okay i hope you enjoyed guys and uh, please keep watching my videos it's been long time i have come back after a very long time and uh, i'll go on and create more like uh, videos of this type okay thank you